Hi everyone, I'm Megan, I am a second year fashion student at NUA and I'm currently doing my second unit which is a group collaboration project. Um, we have been put into groups, um, I am with three other people and we have all been assigned brands. Our group has been assigned Oliver Bonus and Oliver Bonus has sent us a brief. Our brief has basically stated that we have to create 15 garments in our capsule collection uh, for spring summer 2022 and we have to take into account the customer, the Oliver Bonus customer. We also have to look at key trends so making sure that what we design will work and entice the customer. So during this unit we will have three meetings with our Oliver Bonus mentor Anne and um, during each meeting we will present her with the work that we've done so far, she will give us feedback, we can ask her questions. The final meeting will be our final presentation where we present to her our final 15 garments and hopefully she will like it. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm going to take you with me on our journey through this project, um, through the research, the fabric and colour inspiration, um, to then garment and silhouette designs, to then actually finalising our final um, range plan. We are able to go in on Mondays and meet with our group, but apart from that, during the rest of the week, it's all been digital and online. So a lot of this will be just digital work that I will talk through with you. But yeah, I hope you enjoy and come along with me through this project. After looking at the brief, my group decided on job roles. I was given customer research and together we all created concept ideas so we could compare and decide on the final concept. We also created a time plan for the whole unit so we could all see what each other had done and so we could organise our time effectively and stay on track. To gain some concept ideas, I went on to WGSN, which is a really useful trend research website. I looked at spring-summer 2022 trends. The idea of a summer of positivity was popular and looking at bright and bold colours and prints for a summer of freedom after lockdowns was a choice that we decided to take forward. Next, we started collating fabrics and looking at different textures and patterns that we could recreate ourselves. We focused on trying to create natural patterns and textures to fit into our theme. Alongside fabrics, it's always good to decide on colour palettes that you'd like to use. When creating one of my nature and freedom concept boards, I picked out some shades. Together as a group, we liked how these worked. Another team member had this Monet image that we edited. Through this, we decided upon the final shades of our colour palette. Here is our final concept, client, colour and fabric board. We are taking a sustainability zero waste approach to this concept as we believe this would entice OB customers. As a group, we decided on different textile and design techniques such as print, devore, knit and laser cutting. I decided to create some initial ideas that work with our concept to show at the first Oliver Bonus meeting. We all collated our work and research into a PowerPoint ready for our first Oliver Bonus meeting. The feedback we got was really great. She really liked our ideas and our concept, our colour board and our fabrics, but also the techniques alongside them. She then told us to just experiment and not be afraid because then we can always limit down ideas later on. After the meeting, we all decided on the initial 15 garments. We believed that these garments could all be versatile and comfortable. We did a silhouette design for each in which we all picked our top three. We then drew these and once again compared and decided on the final silhouettes. I booked into the studios to use the laser cutter. I used primary images of flowers and on Illustrator created the designs in which you can see how they inspired one another. I then used a bunch of different fabrics ranging from velvet to denim to a chiffon to see how they all work. As you can see, some of the designs split as they were too close together on the illustration. The cutout flowers and half cutout flowers were really effective. I decided to keep the cut out flowers because then we could further applique them onto other garments. Here is some embroidery of bluebells that James designed and did in our group. Emily was in charge of prints. She created some really pretty digital and watercolour prints which were really effective. 
We then had our second meeting with Anne, in which we showed her our samples that we had created so far and our garment ideas. We gained some feedback which allowed us to decide on what prints and silhouettes work well and why. After this we were able to narrow down our design ideas and fully focus on the range plans. Over the independent study week we all agreed on creating one range plan looking at all the different design techniques that we had created so far so that when we came back we could all cut out the garments and decide on some final range plans. Just got back from uni and we were picking out and making some range plans so we can get some initial final lineup ideas for our final collection. Just after that I then went to textiles to get some fabrics so tomorrow morning I can do some laser cutting into them. So I picked up some like kind of organza and cotton fabrics. Tomorrow I'm going to be using the laser cut designs that I created on the fabrics that I just bought from textiles today and I'm also going to be using some of the laser cut designs with the prints that Emily in my group created and made which look really pretty so that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning which I will show you Here is a better look at some of the laser cutting designs that I created and experimented with. As a group we really like the floral print cutout on the sheer chiffon fabric. Here is also an idea on how the excess laser cutting pieces could work layered in appliqued. We then chose our favourite final samples so then we could design more range plans using the prints and techniques. Looking at all the garments we had designed, we had to decide on the final 15 piece collection. We tried to make sure that all the prints and colours worked holistically. We carried on designing the final lineups over Microsoft Teams so that we were prepared for our final meeting with Anne. Here is Rory creating the zero waist pattern and making sure it works on the mannequin. We created a half scale zero waist top in pinafore, which seemed to be the strongest pieces in our collection. After many group meetings, we all chose our final lineup and range plan. Here is the lineup with the chosen fabric swatches underneath. Here is the final range plan, which includes many of the different techniques such as laser cutting, knit, devore, and print. And here is the final range plan working as a lineup, which James illustrated. We believe the garments work well together and highlighted our summer of positivity concept well. We also created an alternative range plan, which used all the various techniques again. Emily also designed some accessories that could work separately or with our collection. I then appliqued the excess laser cutting pieces to the garments and we presented all of our final samples to send to Anne so that she could see them in real life for our final presentation. Here is how the appliqued design worked on the zero waist garments on the mini mannequin. We had our final meeting with Anne in which we presented our final 15 piece capsule collection. Overall she really liked the prints and the designs and believed our concept was strong and would attract the Oliver Bonus customers. She told us that our work actually inspired her and enabled her to think more about sustainability. We found this really inspiring and rewarding to hear that not only had she inspired us but we had inspired her. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me um, through this project. I hope it all made sense. I think the industry collaboration was really beneficial to a lot of us and really helped us gain some insight into how the industry worked, but also pushed a lot of us out of our comfort zones. I know it did for me. I think it has really benefited me in positive ways and given me more confidence and motivation to go into third year. Overall, I really love the fashion course here at NUA. The lecturers and technicians are so helpful and they will always help you with whatever you need. They'll always give you advice and steer you in the right direction. They also allow you to feel confident and comfortable within your own work and I've seen a huge development within my own work from first year to the end of second year. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me in this project. I hope it gave an insight as to what the fashion course at NUA offers. This is my fashion Instagram. Um, if any of you have any questions or queries that you want to ask, I am more than happy to answer them. But yes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.